everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video is actually a really fun one and it is the new baby names tag video for 2018 my friend sj has just created this tag so i thought i would join in in the fun and let you know some really fun baby names so basically if you are new around here my name's lisa and i am currently pregnant with baby boy number three and i've had a few questions actually recently and a few requests to do a baby names video and i thought this would be the perfect one to do mark and i actually did a video a little while back before we even thought about having another baby and we did actually say at the time we weren't having any more kids so those are the names that we were um loving but wouldn't ever be using so if you want to see that video i'll link it down below for you but this video is actually really fun because it's like a nice mixture of names i'll tag some mums at the end as well so we can get some other youtubers involved but if you want to see what names i have chosen for this tag and then just keep watching Okay, so question number one is, if you had a baby tomorrow, what would you call them, boy and girl? I'm expecting a baby boy, but I'm not going to mention his name in this video, just because I wanted to keep it a surprise. So I'll choose some other favourite names that I love. So for a boy, I chose Luca. I absolutely love this name. I am actually part Italian, and my boys have got Italian names. My first little boy is called Vincenzo Roman, and I call him Vinny for short. And my second little boy is called Renzo Valentino, so we obviously just call him Renzo. But yeah, I love the kind of Italian name theme, and Luca is one of my favourite names. I absolutely adore it. So Luca for a baby boy. And for a baby girl, I really love Valentina. I'm not 100% sure because we never really stuck with any baby girl names, but I really loved Valentina, and I also really love Rosa. But Valentina was one I absolutely love because I am due around Valentine's, day time and I thought Valentina was really sweet because it's Valentine's I think it's really really pretty and I just love it so yeah Valentina for a girl and Luca for a boy Question number two is, what would you rename yourself keeping your same first initial? Now my actual initial is E because my full name is Elizabeth. So I thought I would go with an E name and I really love the name Esme. I just think it's such a pretty name. Um, I actually really loved it. A few years ago I, I always said, oh if I have a little girl I'll call her Esme. And I just really, really love the name. So I think it's a super cute, short and sweet name and very, very feminine and pretty. So I love that one. Question number three is what would you have been called or wish you had been called if you were, if you were the opposite gender? I actually need to ring my mum quickly because I don't even know what she would have called me. Hold on. Honestly, she's always on the phone. <laughs> I can't get hold of her. Hold on. Hi, I just quickly, I'm just trying to film my video. Can I just ask you a question? I've been trying to ring you. What would you have called me if I was a little boy? Yeah, what 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 boy's name did you like when I was younger that you were good, that you would have called me? My mum would have called me Giovanni because that is my granddad's name, which is in English it's Johnny, but in Italian it's Giovanni, and she would have called me that because it's like the tradition you kind of take your dad's name to kind of carry the name on, and yeah, I think that would have been a really lovely name as well. So yeah, Giovanni for a little boy. Okay, so question number four is favourite vintage baby name for a boy and a girl. And I chose, for a girl, I chose Arabella. I just really love, like, really pretty names. And Arabella, I think it's, it sounds quite Italian. Again, I'm sorry, but I always go for kind of Italian-y type names. But Arabella, I just thought was really, really pretty and sweet. And for a boy, I quite fancy the name Monty. I just thought that was a really cool little name. I just love, like, quirky little names. I thought Monty was quite quirky. Yeah, so I love Arabella and Monty. Number five is favourite nature names for a boy and a girl. And I chose River for a boy. I'm not really sure if River is a boy or a girl's name. I think it's quite unisex, actually. I So I would use it for a boy maybe i would actually use it for a boy or a girl but i just really love the name river and for a girl's name i would choose the name birdie i just love the name birdie so so much i think it's so 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 cute i'm going to be saying cute a lot in this video in case you haven't already noticed but i think river and birdie are just such beautiful nature names and they're quite different as well quite unique so that is why i've chosen river and birdie number six is your favorite youtuber's name and or baby name my friend karen has got a blog and it's our tiny diaries and i'm not sure if she's got a youtube channel if she uploads to it very often but she's recently had her third baby boy and she called him 
in Fox and I just love the name Fox. I thought it was really cool. I love how it's just got that one syllable and it's just, oh, I just love it so much. And she's also got two other little boys, Jonah and Winter. Again, really, really cool, unique names. I absolutely love them. So I'll link her blog down below. And if I can find a YouTube channel, I did look this morning, but I couldn't find it. But if I can find one, I will link it down below. Also, Louise Pentland's little girl's names are absolutely beautiful. I love the name Pearl. I thought Pearl would be a really gorgeous name for us as well. I just love how Pearl Prido sounds. I just think it's so, so sweet. And she's also got a little girl called Darcy. And I just love that name also. Darcy and Pearl. So gorgeous. So yeah, love Darcy, Pearl, Jonah, Winter and Fox. So that's quite a lot of names in there. But yeah, I absolutely adore those. I think they're so, so precious. The next question is favourite literary names. There are so, so many that I loved. But the ones I popped on my list were Aurora, again, gorgeous name, and also Romeo. Vinny's middle name is Roman, and I just love that kind of sound. But Romeo is very romantic, and I just love that one. So Romeo and Aurora. Question number eight is, what is your favourite O name that isn't Oliver or Olivia? I love quite a lot of O names, actually, and my favourites... Um, are, well, it's a mixture actually from me and Mark because Mark really loves this O name, which is for a boy and it's Octavian. I would never, I don't think I would ever have called my child Octavian, but he has always suggested it every time we've been pregnant with the boys. He's always said Octavian from day one. Um, so Octavian for a boy, which is quite a unique name, very, very different. For a girl, I absolutely love the name Olive. I just love it very sweet i always go for quite cute girly names i think it's because i'm quite a girly girl so olive i just thought was i just love it i just think it's really cute it's really nice like even when you're older i just thought olive is just a lovely name so yeah olive and octavian number nine is what do you wish you were called when you were younger now i don't really know my mum wanted to call me amy when i was younger and i think i I don't know, I think I look like an Amy. Um, but I remember absolutely loving the name Chloe. I just thought it was the best name in the world when I was younger. I think, I might be wrong, but if you watch EastEnders, I think Sonia called her little girl Chloe. And then I was like, oh no, I can't use that name now when I have a little girl, but I always wanted it to be called Chloe. And then number 10 is what name would, would you or did you immediately veto? Um, and that is quite a hard one, isn't it? But I did have a little think and Phoebe was one of them. I was just like, I, I would just never use the name Phoebe because Phoebe from Friends, blah, blah, blah. But I do really like it. I think it's really cute. And again, I think it goes with our surname. So Phoebe Prido, I just thought that sounds really sweet. So I actually really like it now. And also for a boy, it was Santino. So again, when we were going through baby boys names like on the Italian name list, Santino was a name that I really liked, but I was just like, no, I just, I don't know, it just didn't sound right. So Okay, so that's all of the questions done. I had a lot of fun actually thinking about all of these names and I hope that you found this really interesting and found some inspiration if you're thinking of baby names at the moment. I know it's so hard, there are so, so many names out there and I thought a lot of them are quite unique. So I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. I'm gonna tag a few mums as well. Let me tell you a few that I wanted to tag and I'll link them down below so you can go check out their channels. But the first lady that I want to tag is Tara Henderson. Tara and I have been chatting for quite a while now and she's actually just found out that she's pregnant with baby number three. She's already got two little girls and I absolutely adore her channel. So if you want to go check out Tara's channel, I'll link it down below for you. And Tara, if you would love to get involved, then please do. I would love to hear your names. The next lady I would love to tag is Bits of Brie. So Brianna, we've actually done a collaboration quite recently. We did a morning routine together and she's also got two gorgeous children. So if you would like to check her channel out, I'll link it down below for you. I would also love to tag my friend Kerry Conway. Kerry's just had her third baby girl and she has got really beautiful names for them all. Very Italian inspired. So if you'd love to hear their names then definitely check out her channel. I'll link it down below for you and Kerry if you'd like to get involved please do because I would love to hear your names. And then last but not least, my lovely friend Sarah Jane. I would love to hear yours as well. So I will link the channel down below. If you want to go check out Sarah Jane's channel, definitely do. We did an IKEA hacks video quite recently actually as a collaboration. So definitely check all of those channels out. I know you will absolutely love them. They're all super mums. There is going to be a lot of these kind of videos coming out because all of the channel mum girls will probably do this video too. So make sure you go check them all out because yeah, it's a really fun video to film and I hope you enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!